Hi Crafty Peeps, Enos here and I'm back with another AliExpress haul. Um, this haul is all dies and I have dies from three different shops. I'm going to start with Panalisa, move on to KLJUYP and then on to some KS Craft dies that I picked up. But now from Panalisa, um, the great thing about them is they always like to send you little thank you notes in your packages with your order. So this time they gave me a couple of sample pieces of some spring uh, papers, kind of vintage looking, um, perfect for some Easter cards or some spring cards. And along with that, they always send you a cute little heart note thanking you. And then this time around, they also sent me these adorable um, vintage clear stickers. A couple of them look like stamps. Then we have a little butterfly. We have a time clock. Um, I, I think this is part of a postcard and this is a little postcard as well. So these will be great for adding to my stash to use on my upcoming spring projects. And then I'm going to start out the dies with this one. Um, it's a happy birthday to you banner. And I have already used this one. It came just in time for me to make a card for a co-worker who's having a birthday earlier or later this week. And it's a simple card, but I think it's kind of pretty. Um, I have used the die here, and the paper I'm using has some different colored polka dots on it. And I topped off the polka dots with some glossy accents. And that gives a little bit of shimmer and shine and makes them look like they're wet when they're not. Then I also have um, some little blobs of glue I put on here, and then I topped off the glue with this um, Little Birdie Crafts Micro Beads in gold to just to add a little extra bling to the card. And it is just on plain cardstock. Um, this is the Craft Color cardstock, and I will just put a stamp of a birthday sentiment inside, sign my name, and I will be good to go with that. So that is the Happy Birthday banner. Then I picked up this um, funny looking die here. This is actually a cake dessert box. It's just a small box. Um, this is the bottom of it, this is the top here. So from side to side, it's about two and a half inches wide by two inches tall. Um, well, side to side, two and a half by two. And you would cut this piece out twice layer the bottom pieces together and then each of the trying or each of these little rectangles make up the side of this octagon shaped box. These are layering pieces to kind of fancy up the sides a little bit. And then this is the top. You would cut two of these, layer the top pieces together, uh, glue them together, fold them all down, and these will be the dripping frosting on the top of your little cake box. Then you have a couple other little things here for layering and decorating the box. But I think this would be a really cute box to use um, for maybe some Hershey Kisses or some M&Ms or just some small little candies because the box is only going to be, I don't know, what is this? Height-wise, it's only about... Well, about an inch and a half tall. So it's a small box, but I think it'd make a cute little extra little something for somebody. <coughs> Actually, probably good to go with this birthday card. <laughs> and then I purchased this um, camera die. And they do say on the Panalisa website that this is a um, mini album piece. I'm not really sure, but I kind of think that at first I thought this was a film strip, but I think this may be the connection piece so that when you cut several of these out um, to make pages, this you'll use these to hold your um, book together. But I'm not really sure, so I'll have to give that a try and see. But you get several layering pieces here for the lens, so it looks like a telephoto lens. You have a little mini camera here. Um, you have a little... I don't even think this is a word. It's just like a little squiggly, squiggly. I don't know. I tried to read it, but I really can't. And you got a couple little arrow pieces here um, just for decoration. So that will be cute, um, even if you don't use it as an album, um, just to make a cute little project. And then I got this um, adorable mason jar. I mean, who doesn't love mason jars these days? You get a little mini one, you get a large one. And this too is also shown as a... Um, a mini album 
Now, uh, I think you would have to make your own connection piece, your own spine and whatever, but you do have several lay layering pieces here. You have a label that says um, homemade with love. You have a cute, juicy looking strawberry there so you can fill your jars up with strawberries. Um, you probably could turn this into a shaker if you wanted to and um, maybe put some strawberries and some uh, sequins in there. But this is a really cute dye, and I think it's perfect for the summertime. And then I picked this one up. Um, absolutely love this dye. Um, it's kind of got a Victorian look to it, which is right up my alley. I love all the vining here, the beautiful detail on the cage and the little bird. And I can just see this um, done in a glitter cardstock or a shimmer or maybe a gold or silver uh, foil cardstock and placed on the front of a beautiful album or even on the front of a card and make a great decoration for a wedding card. So that is the um, bird cage. And then I picked up this one here and they are calling this the big wallet envelope pocket. And what it is is you cut out this big piece here and then it's going to get folded into threes. Then you have a layering piece here for the front flap as well as the back and then you have a layering piece here that goes on the front. You've got a little zipper here if you want to put a zipper on the back of the um, uh, little pocket purse or even on the front underneath the flap. Um, Here's some tags on here, some little uh, pieces you can use for um, to look like snaps on the front. Okay, and I'm not really sure what these are for. These may be to give it dimension. Um, I'm not really sure. I'll have to cut that out and find out. And then here is your little um, handle for like a wristlet. So that's what that is. And this is really pretty with the scallop edge and the little st stitching detail and then this says enjoy on it so this would make a really cute um, project and gift for anybody and then from the KLJ UIP store I picked up just a few dies um, I'll start out here with these little um, bunny tag shakers so you have this one piece here, which you can use for each of these if you wanted them all to have like a little hang tag on it. Otherwise, you could just use the outside here and then you've got a layering piece inside of each of these to make them shakers. And then you have cute little bunny ears. Each one is different. So you can make three different uh, shaker, almost like coins, I guess you could call them. Um, yeah, those are really adorable. And then I picked up this coin change purse. And it's got this layering piece here with a little crosshatch design on it. And you don't have to use this if you have a really pretty cardstock and you don't want to chop it all up with this design on it. You can just, um, you know, cut your piece without the hat crosshatch and make your purse that way. And then you've got your layering piece here. So this makes a really, really cute change purse. If you get a chance to go onto AliExpress and look this one up, you'll see they have a lot of samples about how cute this die is. And the last one I got from KLJ UYP is this adorable little um, cracked open Easter egg. It is a shaker die. And you have your little, oops, sorry here, I'm out of camera. Uh, it is a shaker die, so you have your top layering piece and your bottom layering piece. You have a little chick here, and you got eyelashes, eyes, nose. These are the inside pieces if you decide to make this chicky wear a bunny costume, which would be very cute. And it also comes with little chicky feet if you want to use those on your project. Now, I did see someone um, on YouTube create this as a little chick, and they cut this out, actually, um, with a piece of cardstock. But then they covered the cardstock. Well, first they, they then cut this design out on felt, um, a really cute yellow felt, and glued it on top of the cardstock piece that was already cut out. And they had this little... Uh, felt chicky that was coming in and out of the egg. It was just such an adorable little project. 
um, I might have to steal that idea. And if I do, I will be sure to give the original um, artist credit for that. So that is it from KLJYP. And then I got a number of dies from KS Crafts. Um, let's see. I got this cute little um, popcorn bucket. Comes with, and it is a shaker too. You got your top piece and your back piece. You have the word yummy here that you can layer across the front. You have some individual little popcorns there. And then you have this popcorn piece that will fit on top here. And if you cut out several of these, you can glue them on top of here to give it dimension. And in a haul I did, um, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, maybe it was, I actually picked up some charms that were shaped like popcorn kernels. And they have little loops on them so that you can put them on necklaces or dangles or whatever. And I think what I would do is actually punch a little hole in here after it's done and hang one of those popcorn charms off of it. I think it would be totally adorable. And my thought for using this, prod, um, this set of dies here is... Um, making invitations to a movie in the park, which really would be in my backyard, <laughs> and use this on the front of the invitation. So that is really cute. Then, um, I know this is out of season for this, but I did pick up the drippy Christmas bow. I think you could use this for birthdays. I think you could use it for Easter. Um, you know, this piece here, this is really just frosting. So why does it have to be just Christmas? So anyway, I thought this was a really cute die and um, I'm going to see what I can come up with to adapt this to other holidays because I think that's really adorable. And then I picked up this, um, let me see, what did they call this? The Big Tag or the Loaded Bag. Okay, so you have this piece here, which is a giant tag, and you can use this piece. It's got a thin layering piece in here so that you can layer your beautiful cardstock on top of it. And then you have these um, pieces here that you're going to use on the sides and on the bottom to make this a three-dimensional uh, bag or... Um, yeah, like a little gift bag. And here you have the shadow words for happy. You have the, you know, the two layers. You've got mail and you have birthday. So you can do happy mail or happy birthday. And then you've got some other little um, layering pieces, cutouts. If you wanted to put like a little cutout here for a handle for or a hanging tag there, you could use one of these um, for your cutout there. And it's really pretty with the stitching going around it. And um, I think this would make a great, great uh, happy birthday gift bag for something small um, or happy mail for your friends. So that's really cute. Then I picked up this message in a bottle um, shaker die and it comes with like a rolled paper there. You've got your cork and you've got some layering pieces here. And um, truly you don't need to put this paper in here. You can put anything inside your bottle. If you wanted to put um, maybe grapes in it to make it look like grape wine or strawberries to make it look like strawberry syrup or you know anything you wanted to to decorate these uh, little bottles maybe make them into potions at Halloween time and um, put some bubbles in there so this is a really cute and versatile die then I picked up this cute little bunny die and at first I thought this was just a boy bunny but it's really not. So we have the little bunny face here and his layering piece goes right there. And you've got the bow tie for the boy. You have um, these two little pieces here, which I think are the layering pieces for the ears. You've got a couple pieces for little, um, I guess, arms maybe, or maybe these are additional layering pieces. I'm not really sure. And little glasses. But then you've got all these little flowers here. And at first I thought to myself, all oh, these flowers are, are just so you can make little flowers. But really you can make these little flowers and put them as a little crown or a tiara on top of the bunny head there to make it into a little girl. You got the cute little eyes and eyebrows. You've got the nose mouth little detail there. Um, some little cute, I'm guessing cheeks there and some other little detail pieces. So this is a very cute dye and... Um, I think this would be cute to put in Easter baskets or Easter cards for the kids. 
So that's that. And then the last die I have today is this one. <clears throat> and this one they're calling the Dimensional Diamond Rosette die. And what you will do is you would cut out two of these, um, maybe more if you want a, a, um, a bigger rosette, one that's more dense. But um, I did see um, this done with just two pieces. And you have all of these zigzag folds here. And that is what gives your die the extra dimension and gives it that diamond look. So I am really excited to use this die and I will definitely be showing some projects used uh, using this because this is the reason I placed this whole order because <laughs> I wanted this one. But you know, um, I couldn't resist it and I am building my stash. Uh, I'm probably going to have to quit soon. But anyway, that's the end of my um, AliExpress die uh, haul. I hope you enjoyed all the goodies that I got. I hope you will come back and visit me when I am showing the finished products from some of these dies and uh, have a great evening. Um, hope to see you again soon and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next crafty video. Bye crafty peeps!